Good morning, brothers. Good to see you, man. It's an absolutely beautiful, frosty morning. The sun's out, but it is cold, mate. You can tell by my nose. Had to film your nose kicking in again. Now, you may have noticed if you've watched any of my videos at all that I do not edit my videos. They're completely raw, completely unfiltered, and I oftentimes as well don't stutter or don't make any use of filler words like, um, uh, like, like, you know, I'm not using those filler words often and I'm not losing my train of thought. How am I able and why am I able to fluently speak to you guys for sometimes 10 minutes plus, half an hour, an hour? You know, my video lengths vary, but how am I able to keep my train of thought, speak fluently without stuttering, and why do I not edit my videos? Where, where, where does that come from? So we'll start off on the YouTube side of things first, and obviously why I don't edit my videos. It's uh, This might be helpful for anyone that's got a YouTube channel, or you guys wanna, I guess, learn from someone that's been there and done it. I do not edit my videos because number one, sustainability. So obviously it is much easier for me to just whip out my camera at any point, no matter where I am in the gym, in the park and on the street, wherever, and just talk to the camera and upload it. Um, so obviously it's very sustainable. It's easy to do that. And it's easy to hit the limit of daily uploads every single day, right? A lot of you guys will realize if you've done YouTube before, especially in the self-improvement space where, you know, it's quite saturated to a certain degree, you'll find that, ah, it's very hard to stay relevant. People kind of just forget about you unless you're uploading every single day. You have to literally be in there, fucking in the throat every single day, right? You've got to just, you know what I mean? To the algorithm in order to get any traction. Because if you don't, if you upload like once a week or twice, you just, bro, you're irrelevant. No one knows who you are. You can't afford to not upload every single day. So... Obviously, it's easier for me to maintain that sustainability with unfiltered raw videos. This is the kind of style that I'm going for. Obviously, I also pictured myself in the future as well one day. I don't know, living in the mountains or some shit, just running around in beautiful Portugal or something like that, right? Something nice and sunny, nice and warm as well. Like, it's sunny now, but it's not warm at all. It's fucking cold. Bro, I also have this thing where my hands go, like, different colours when I'm cold. So, you can tell when it's cold. My hands start going purple. Now... Yeah, and I had this visualization of me just waking up in the morning in a nice, beautiful, sunny, hot country and not having to rely on editing software or any bullshit like that. Just whip out the phone, talk, upload. That's my job done. Bam. Easy. Right. Number two, obviously, I think as well, editing for me just isn't, it's not really that enjoyable of a process. I like the feeling of having the video done. I like the feeling of looking at the edited video when I finished it. But the whole editing process itself isn't really the, the most enjoyable thing for me. It, it really is draining. I find it quite boring. Um, and you guys know me. I like to just live life and then come and feed back to you. So I don't want to spend my time just editing, you know. The only work task that I want to have to do when it comes to YouTube is just recording, just talking to you. Um, obviously, as well, it showcases my personality a lot better. You guys can really relate to me. You guys don't have to feel like I am some just pixel behind a screen like you guys can see every single time you click on a video i'm a real guy you know i've got a personality i laugh and joke with you boys um and obviously i try and stay on topic as much as possible but every now and then i'll sway off on side tangents i might stutter you guys can see my true authentic personality with no no uh facade there because i'm not editing it away it's literally just me it's just raw as fuck bruv um, you know, you guys can see my hypothermia nose. You guys can see when I'm ill. You guys can see when I'm not feeling it. You guys can see when I'm full of energy. You guys can see it all, everything. It's just all there. Um, obviously as well, in terms of not editing, there is no high, highly, you know, sensitized dopamine hits that you guys are getting when you're watching my videos. You guys can just come on here and you guys know that you're getting value and nothing but value. And your brain can process the information much more efficiently if I'm just speaking in one fluent go like this, it's not, it's not cutting, it's not all over the fucking place. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's just one, one take, freestyle, one take. You guys can take in the information that I'm talking about so much easier because it's not cutting, it's not distracting you with edits, it's not all over the place, it's not trying to be entertaining. It's just me, it's just my personality. And that brings me on to the main point for most of you guys, even if you do not do YouTube, most of you guys will want to be able to speak fluently you'll want to be able to speak in a confident way without stuttering for a long period of time and be able to hold conversations without feeling like a retard, right? You'll want to be able to do that. Any, any young man can say, yeah, I'd like to be able to have good conversation skills and not stutter and not be like, 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 like over and over again, right? And not use filler words like, um, 
yeah, no, no, I did deadlift it. You know what I mean? You don't want to be like that. You want to be able to speak and, and concisely articulate your thoughts to other people in a very well put and beautiful, beautifully put way. I'm trying to be poetic now, but you know what I mean, right? You don't want to be a spastic, basically. So that is another reason that, number one, I, sh I don't edit my videos because I want to prove to you guys that I know what I'm talking about. I do not need edits. I can literally just speak to the camera for as long as possible, as long as you guys want me to, as long as I feel necessary, without stuttering, without really losing my train of thought ever, and just completely just bam, just on it, fluent, concise, clear. Do you know what I mean? And I think a lot of you guys can clearly understand that. A lot of you guys come in my comments and you compliment my ability to speak well and things like that. And I really do appreciate that, by the way. I'm very grateful for those kind words. But yeah, I mean, the, the reason that I can speak like this and I don't have to edit my videos. I literally don't need to. I, I don't, because most guys will edit because they keep stuttering or they'll fuck up or they'll mess up. I don't need to edit because a lot of the time I don't do that. I don't fuck up. I don't, like, I'm just literally one take. I press record, I speak, and then the video's done. That's it. That's all that I have to do. Because my personality, I've made sure that I really do what it is that I speak about in my videos. A lot of guys come on the camera and they'll speak about meditation or they'll speak about getting girls or they'll speak about being confident when they're speaking. And then they'll just edit it because it's not really them. It's not their personality. You guys can see every time I come on the fucking camera, this is who I am. Even when I'm ill, even when I'm, I don't feel like it, I'm still out here recording for you boys, still doing the work. Bam, it showcases my discipline. I show you the girls that I get. I can clearly talk about confidently in the video without stuttering, without being like, oh wait, what was the story I was going to tell? Again? Like, you guys know that I'm, I'm, I'm really about it. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I think, yeah, I think, again, another little tip for any of you guys that want to do YouTube put your personality first focus on who you are as an individual make sure that you are squared away you are that fucking guy with or without youtube that is who you are if i deleted youtube right now it wouldn't make a difference to my life i'd be the same guy the exact same guy I'd do the exact same things i'd live the exact same life right and i hope that showcases through the camera to the point where i don't need edits because you guys know I'm, I'm really about it this is this is what i live about right so clearly i can come on the camera i shouldn't need a script i shouldn't need to edit i should be able to have a conversation with you like my bro, because you are, you're my bro, right? I should be able to just have a conversation with my bro without having to edit, without having to fucking deep throat you with edits and just dopamine bullshit. I shouldn't have to do that, you know? Because if I, if I live the life that I was talking about on the camera, I should be able to just whip it out and speak to you boys whenever, and I can do that. So yeah, I think personality is a very, very big thing. You must learn to cultivate a authentic personality. Don't lie about what it is you talk about. Don't bullshit, don't build a facade, just be authentically you if you are not the man yet work towards becoming the fucking man and believe in yourself right and i think in terms of communication skills social skills the way that you talk you know not stuttering things like that a lot of you guys struggle with stuttering if that's you stuttering is basically caused by the over concerned nature of what you're going to say so i used to stutter when i come on the camera because i used to be nervous and oh i've got to make the video really perfectly structured and really really well done i've got i can't stutter once so i was putting a lot of pressure on myself i was being very very bro that looks like it's gonna rain i was being very concerned with how i was coming across and what i was going to say and how i was going to say it i was putting a lot of pressure on myself and you guys do this to yourself on a daily basis when you get into conversations rather than just enjoying the conversation you guys are putting pressure on yourself what should i say next how do I hold the conversation? How do I make sure that this person likes me? I just go in there and just fucking enjoy it. I just enjoy having a laugh. I don't care if it's an awkward silence because I'm confident enough to be able to laugh at myself even if there is an awkward silence, do you understand? It's like, even if I made the situation awkward, I can just laugh at myself in such a confident manner without caring, oh, that person's judging me. I don't give a fuck, I'm just gonna laugh. I'll make a joke out of it. I'll approach it with such utter confidence that it doesn't even matter if I stutter. It doesn't matter if I make an awkward silence because I just laugh at myself and turn it into a joke. And there we go, the power's back in my hands, right? And not only that, I think, <coughs> oh, excuse me, fucking hell. Not only that, but I think when you are in these conversations and you're overthinking what you're going to say, it's just inevitable that you're going to start stuttering. Like that's literally what scientifically, psychologically, what causes you to stutter is you overthinking what you're going to say. Go in the conversation, be genuinely interested in the other person. Think, what, is, what do I want to hear from this person? What do I want to know about this person? What, what lifestyle do they live? What mindset do they have? What struggles do they go through? You know, I want to learn about you. How did you get through that situation when you were, oh, you know, down on your ass and you had no hope? How did you get through? I want to learn. I'm genuinely interested, right? Stop worrying about so much about yourself and put yourself in someone else's shoes. 
ask them questions, be concerned about them. The, the conversation just flows so easy. It's like, I don't even have to think about it. But in terms of just whipping out the camera and speaking to you guys for 10 minutes straight without stuttering, without losing my train of thought, constantly on it. And like, I'm better than guys that edit the videos and I've just, I've just gone it completely raw, one take, right? This is the first time recording this video. It's easy, bro. So why can I do that? Practice. Read and write, I think, are definitely very important. Make sure you read a lot because when you read, you're slowing down the process in your brain. You're, di you're literally digesting the words into your brain at a slow process. And also writing as well just solidifies those words and the way that you speak into your brain. So practice reading and writing. Obviously, I read every day to learn knowledge and to gain knowledge and gain wisdom, etc. And then I write every single day to practice gratitude. You know, I'll just write down what I'm grateful for. And it's, oh, bro, look at that. Oh, mate. If only it was warm, it would be fucking perfect. Bro, wait until the summer. Oh, my God. This video is going to drop in April, so not far off the summer. You know, we're getting a bit warmer now. We're getting there slowly but surely, but wait until the summer. I'm going to come to this exact field, and we're going to do some fitness videos in the sun. I'm going to get tanned up. Bro, oh, I can't wait. You boys are going to see me every day on the live streams. It is going to be beautiful this summer. 2023 is my fucking year. I'm taking over, lad. It's over for these boys. YouTube, the self-improvement game, this is my shit. I'm dominating here. No edits needed. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, practice, communication skills, get out there, talk more. Find any excuse that you can to speak and just and just say words, just trash fucking shit. You know, if you're the kind of guy that's terrified of speaking, obviously you're going to stutter when you speak because you're not used to it. It's like this is a new venture for you. Just get out there and just chat complete bollocks, just chat shit. Don't even care, don't think too much, don't take life too seriously. I'll be walking down the street with my boys on a night out, after a night out. We'll be going to get some pizza, you know, one of those dirty takeaways that you get after a night out, right? We'll just walk past a group of girls and I'll just chat complete shit. Oh, nice glasses, can I try them on? Whatever, bro. First thing that comes to my head. Nice hair, is it natural? You know what I mean? Anything. Just, just shit. Make a joke about it. Laugh. Have good energy about you. It becomes very easy to then speak like this because I'm not trying. I'm not overthinking. I'm just enjoying myself. I'm just having fun. So that's why I don't edit my videos because I want to make sure that number one, I'm showcasing who I really am. You guys can see that I'm really about it. I don't lie. I don't have to edit. I don't need any of that bullshit. Um, you know, my personality is enough to, to just keep the video going for 12 minutes. If any of you boys are still watching for 12 minutes, clearly it showcases that, right? Uh, but number two, just uh, obviously the YouTube side of things as well. It's, it's much easier and much more sustainable for me. So if any of you guys ever wondered, why do I do the unfiltered stuff? Obviously, I want it to be raw as well. I want it to be like you just, every time you click on a Luke Spurgeon video, you're just chilling with your bro. That's what I want it to be like. You know, you're just chilling with your bro, having a conversation. You're not some, you're not watching some childish fucking overstimulating editing video. You are just chilling with your bro and learning something about life or inspiring yourself by watching me and listening to my energy and the way that I talk. You're inspiring yourself. You're motivating yourself. Ah, if Luke can do it, I can do it, right? I'm nothing special, believe me. I never used to be the man that I am today and I'm still constantly growing. I'm still evolving. I'm, not, I'm not, nowhere near where I want to be. But if I can inspire you to get off your fucking ass and work hard on yourself and make yourself a kind of man that when you look in the mirror, you're proud of yourself, then job done. Yeah, coaching is down below if you want to come and learn from me on a personal level. I'll teach you all the secrets that I know about conversation skills, communication skills, confidence, girls, porn addiction, whatever it is, come and talk to me and we'll sort you out, yeah? Look after yourself, bro. Get some daylight, get some sunlight. Don't lose your voice like me. I've been singing in the clubs way too much recently, so... I'm going to just wait for the voice to regain so I can continue my YouTube career in peace. But yeah, look after yourself, man. It's good to see you, yeah? Bam.